The welding puddle is a pool of molten metal behind the electrode. It consists of melted base material and melted electrode. This is an example of a good puddle. A good weld puddle is established by maintaining the proper electrode angle, 45 degrees in this case, an appropriate travel speed, and the proper distance from the weld joint. The weld arc and transfer of metal from the electrode to the joint should be smooth and consistent. As you can see in these two views, a well-established puddle generally takes on an elliptical egg shape as it trails behind the welding rod, evenly fusing the joint surfaces together. Using the width of the puddle as a guide, the operator can adjust the travel speed to vary the characteristics of the finished bead such as, bead placement, weld size, and the amount of metal being deposited. Your travel speed determines the size of your bead. The standard bead size is 1 quarter inch. If a heavier or thicker bead is desired, the operator can slow down the travel speed, this allows the puddle to spread out wider, depositing more weld into the joint. A fast travel speed results in a smaller bead size. When welding a quarter inch horizontal fillet weld, the correct welding angle is 45 degrees to the plate. The distance between the tip of the welding rod and the weld puddle should be about a sixteenth of an inch. The drag angle should be 10 to 15 degrees in the direction of travel. You should adjust your travel speed to control the size of the weld. This is an example of a long arc. Long arcing occurs when the welding electrode is either too far from the weld joint, or angled incorrectly. Characteristics of long arcing are a weld arc that fluctuates erratically and large balls of weld spatter that shoot off the tip of the rod in every direction. When long arcing occurs, the rod is too far away from the weld joint for an even transfer of filler metal from the rod to the joint. This allows discontinuities such as porosity, slag inclusion, incomplete fusion and others to be introduced into the weld joint making it weaker and more prone to fail. This is an example of a wrong drag angle. Maintaining the proper weld angle is critical for producing an acceptable bead. The proper angle when welding a horizontal quarter inch fillet joint is 45 degrees to the plate, with a 10 to 15 degree drag angle along the direction of travel. This is an example of a welding angle that is too large. Improper weld angle can be the direct cause of the following discontinuities. 1. Overlap, which is the protrusion of weld metal beyond the weld toe or weld root. 2. Undercut, which is a groove melted into the base metal adjacent to the weld toe or weld root and left unfilled by weld metal. 3. Porosity which is cavity-type discontinuities formed by gas entrapment during solidification. 4. Excessive convexity, which is an excessive maximum distance from the face of a convex fillet weld perpendicular to a line joining the weld toes. 5. Lack of fusion, which causes separation of the weld bead from the base metal. 6. Slag inclusion, which is the entrapment of slag within the weld. And 7. Spatter which are globules of molten electrode metal that are ejected during welding. The spattered globules deposit and solidify around the weld area. This example shows a wrong welding angle. In this view, the drag angle is too large. This is an example of a rod sticking. Rod sticking occurs when the tip of the weld electrode is fused to the joint surface upon contact. The most common cause of a rod sticking is the operator attempting to strike an arc too forcefully. When striking an arc, lightly scratch the tip of the rod along the joint surface. As the tip of the rod begins to spark, Lift it slightly off the surface, allowing the arc and weld puddle to form. Once the puddle is well established, 
adjust the tip of the rod so that it is within a sixteenth of an inch from the puddle. The causes of rod sticking include 1. Striking an arc too forcefully 2. Amperage set too low 3. Holding the electrode too close to the weld puddle 4. Flux coating on the tip of the rod damaged or missing Spatter occurs when molten filler metal is ejected from the tip of the electrode during the welding process. This video shows an example of spatter. As it falls spatter deposits on the joint surface, the operator and the surrounding work area. It is the number one cause of burns and fires produced by hot work. Causes of spatter include 1. Amperage set too high 2. Improper electrode angle 3. Long arcing and 4. Contaminants in the joints such as paint, rust, and moisture. This is an example of amperage that is set too high. Welding with the amperage set too high makes it extremely difficult for the operator to control the weld puddle. In this condition, the weld surface will appear rough with increased amounts of spatter. This is an example of amperage that is set too low. Welding with the amperage set too low makes it more difficult to strike and maintain an arc. Once established, the weld puddle will not flow well and the operator will experience increased rod sticking. The amperage being set too low will produce a weld bead that is high risk for slag inclusion and lack of fusion. The virtual environment contains a welding simulation for shielded metal arc welding. Next I will show you how to use that simulation. Start by adjusting the height of the work table by left clicking with the mouse at the location shown in the video. You can lower the table by pressing the shift button on the keyboard.